You guys ever seen a scientist dunk before? Boom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie and welcome to Surviving Mars. This video is sponsored by Paradox to bring you a look. Yeah, just a look, just a preview look at some new content that they've come out with here. Uh, they got two creator content packs and they also have a new radio station, which we are listening to in this video. It's called Revelation Radio. Uh, yeah, you could just jam to it if you want to. There's a bunch of new songs in there. First content pack is the smallest, and we'll just go through that real quick, and then we'll spend the majority of the video on the second one. Uh, I think you can tell by the uh, title of the video. First is the uh, Future Contemporary Cosmetic Pack, and this brings new skins to a variety of different buildings. Um, so you can see the apartments here. They look uh, fairly different. Here's what you're used to. Maybe you used to do this one. You've probably seen this one before too, but now you got this one. So it looks kind of interesting. Um, there's also some yeah. skins for other various buildings here too, including... We have a new skin for, um, there's one for Arcology. I won't be able to show you that in this video just because I don't have it unlocked yet. Uh, but you can, where is it? Electronics store. Electronics store is here. And then we also have sort of a yeah, contemporary look for it there too. Just place that, I guess. Um, and then we also have the art store. And this one looks real cool. I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just nerding out, but I like the way this looks, the new art store. Very nice. So we're going to pop those uh, in this two, in this dome here, too. Now, uh, there's other ones, too. Like, for example, the uh, Grocer also gets a pretty cool improved skin as well. You can have it look like this, like you're used to. Or you can get down and give it this little look here, too, which is kind of nifty. I would say it's even cleaner. I like it better than like the stuff being out in the open, but sure, there you go. Um, and a variety of different buildings again. Check out the link in the description. We'll tell you all about it. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward upgrade there. Uh, this song is kind of spooky, isn't it? Got like a Halloween feel to it. Um, I'm gonna flatten this ground really quick because I think we're going to need to eventually do that. Let me just kind of real quick, like I'm gonna just flatten this out about like this and like that. That should be good. Go ahead and do it, drones. Okay, so while they're doing that, we've gotten through some of it. Again, there's more skins. You can explore that. It's a pretty small part of the update. The biggest part of the update that I want to show you guys today and walk you through are trains on Mars. Yes, it's called the Martian Express. Oh, yeah. Now, trains are available to build for everybody immediately. No research required, but there are researches that can make them better, like having travel faster or having them be safer or giving your colony a mood boot a mood buff if they go through places with that are green or vegetation vegetated areas right you can have train tracks be easier to repair and have them safer for passengers and all sorts of stuff like that too so there's a variety of advancements you can do for trains but trains are available right away so let's take a look i'm using the new sponsor just wanted to show you this. Um, I'm using the new sponsor, which is called the, well, it's not sponsored. Okay, I'm USA, um, but the commander profile is called Transport Tycoon. And we get tracks, construction costs are halved. So any of the construction costs you see for mine are gonna be half of, half of what they normally would be. Um, I also start with two small station prefabs and the large station is unlocked for me automatically. So normally you'd have to unlock those things. I started with the new Transport Tycoon so that I could uh, be able to do that for you really quickly. You do have to start a brand new save. I've set this up from scratch, baby. We've been, <laughs> been playing this in the, in the background. Uh, so I have three uh, separate colonies here. They are not connected with any meaningful way for transportation on resources, uh, unless of course I was gonna use the regular transport truck, in which case I could do that with anything, right? But we don't have any shuttles is what I'm mostly getting at here. And there's also no way for, uh, because they're so spread out, there's no way for colonists to move to other domes if they want to. So if I want people to come from here to here, or there to there, or I want to keep resources sort of balanced or whatever, um, I would normally have to set that up manually with transport trucks. But now with trains, I can have it done with trains. Isn't that nice? Not entirely sure why all my drones are going there. That's weird. Anyway, so what we're going to do first, I'm going to come into the infrastructure tab and I'm going to select one of our two prefab small stations. These train stations will move people and resources. And I'm going to go ahead and place this down. I think maybe right here should be okay. Yeah, let's move probably right about here. So this is a prefab, so they should build it really quickly. Shouldn't be a whole lot of uh, delay on that. There we go. And the train stations require power, but they don't take very much power. 
energy wise or resource wise they these trains are much less resource intensive than using shuttles they don't have the flexibility of shuttles but you do get uh, significant savings overall if you set them up correctly and you plan your builds according to trains so if you're looking at like saying i'm gonna build a whole colony with a bunch of trains well you might be able to save a whole bunch instead of uh, using shuttles you know, of course you can use both if you want to as well now this small station has one track that we can put in or, or one train track and you can have trains going both directions so the monorails will be on the sides not on the top so you can have one going that way and one going this way on the same track let's take a look really quick i, I want to bring another station i think i want to build two stations actually over it with my other my other colonies way over here it's, this is where it is um let's build two stations i'm gonna put the prefab one let's say here right between these two domes so they can be accessible pretty easily and let's put another station maybe over in this area how about uh i could also build hmm you know we could we could build a large station here and set it up over here and then i have two two train stations that will sort of connect to this from each side that's not bad I kind of like that idea. I was hoping to have the train station be pretty close to, uh, like, I, I kind of want it right here, honestly. Um, I might put it here anyway, even though this is gonna dust it, this resource would be almost gone or whatever. I'm mostly just showing you trains today, so I kind of don't care. So I'm gonna place the large station there. And I think I'm also gonna place a large station in this little colony, which isn't really a colony yet, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to place this here too. Let's go ahead and get some passengers brought in as well. Remove the tourists for a little bit. I'm good with that. Let's just go ahead and launch that. And we'll put another large station, I think probably right about here-ish. Yeah, but mostly I'm just showing you trains today, so otherwise maybe I would be working this instead. It's a very high deposit, but eh, whatever, it's trains. All right, so we're gonna let all of these, uh, all the drones and everything get on this and to create the, get the resources in here to build this. And uh, we'll have all these stations built uh, and I'll come on back later. And actually, I think I'm gonna add one more, this other small station. I think I'm gonna put it uh, probably right next to this one. And you'll, you'll see why I would do that in, in a second, but uh, I do want to maybe get, uh, I don't want it to cross, so I'm going to have to do this a different way. How about over here? You'll see why I would do this in a, in a little bit, but let me let all these train tracks build, and I'll be right back. All right, so train stations are built, and now I want to show you how the magic starts here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build train tracks between all the stations, but I've got two separate stations here. I'll show you that in a second. We got a big station here, and the large stations can have up to four connections, but you cannot pass through stations. So I know it kind of looks like you can, but you can't. So trains will come in on this side, monorails will come in on this side, and they will not pass through. So you'll need the routes happening on both sides uh, to make that happen. Also important note, which uh, this part is a little disappointing to me, but it's fine. Um, passengers will not transfer to new trains. So if a train, if a passenger wants to come to this dome, uh, great, they can do that. But if they want to go to that dome over there, they are not going to stop here and transfer to another train and go. That doesn't happen. All right. So um, we're going to take the infrastructure tab and we're going to go to track. And again, these are built. These these are available to build immediately, right? There's no delay here. So um, we're going to go ahead and take this. And the track is all one unit. So it all gets built together as one structure. So I can now go this way all the way over. Let's say like probably all the way over like this. There's some uneven ground here. You have to have it on flat ground or it won't let you build it. And it looks like this is not gonna work because that is uneven ground. So I'm gonna have to maybe come out just a little bit more, maybe on this side. That'll work. There's a little bit of a zigzag, but I gotta get around this. You can flatten the ground, that's totally fine. Um, and, and actually I'm doing that over here. I'm getting these drones to flatten this ground because I'm gonna be putting a train track through here in a bit. Um, but uh, you can't, they're, they're not going to do it while you place the track. So you need your ground flattened before you start placing the tracks like that. Now this takes concrete and that's it. It's a very easy resource to obtain. So it won't be hard to build. It's very, very quick. So let me do that one. And then also we're going to have another train track built 
on this side. And we're going to have, let's say, you go from here all the way out like this. And then I want to go over that direction. So I have to have it. I have to have it start and end point at a station. I can't just like build a part of the track. All right, so that's all done and flat. So let's take this track all the way over. And we're just gonna go all the way over like this. Oh, not gonna let, whoa. Objects underneath are blocking construction. Uh-oh, why? Hold on. Oh, you know what? There's a geyser right there. I, I didn't see that before, okay. So we'll go over like this, I guess, around that geyser. And then uh, over like this, and then down over this way. And we're gonna wanna meet up with this track. So let's just kind of see where that is. So I'm gonna try to get it to be probably like, is it like this? No, it's over one, it's over two more. Looks like I'm gonna have to kind of zigzag a little bit here because this is lined up with that post with the, with the water. Uh, I could rebuild it, but I think it's probably best just to zigzag it for the purposes of this video. So that's what we're gonna do. It's fine. Let's just let's just hook it up with the other side, like that. We do better planning. Probably would be good here. Hey, I've, I've whipped this colony up really quick. Okay, <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot of time here. Uh, so this track's gonna get built, and then that track's getting built. And again, it's all concrete, uh, and actually, it's all one unit. So your drones only have to start building it from one side. They don't have to build it uh, throughout the whole thing. It's not like cables and pipes where they're in sections. In this case, it's all of them, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and land this new passenger rocket right there just to kind of get this dome started and um, let these tracks build and I'll be right back. Sector scanned. All right, train tracks are done. We've got this one over here done all the way over to this big, large station. And then we've got this track all the way over to that place. So these guys are now connected with trains all over the place, but this one is not connected to this one. Because remember, they won't go through the stations, which is why I've got this extra bit of track on this large station. So what I could do maybe here is to cut and maybe um, like flatten this out, or I can just opt to have a train track go all the way around this canyon and connect over into here. That wouldn't be too hard either. And remember, the the drones just need to be able to access it at one end and they'll build the whole thing. So that's possible to do. And um, if I was playing longer, I might look into doing that, but I wanna show you uh, how all of this stuff works. So in the train station, we're gonna be creating a train. These ones, again, they're cheaper, um, it, it's, it's, you can do it quicker and everything to get than shuttles. So I'm gonna build, I think, two trains here and those are gonna go under construction and pending. So they're gonna rush over, they're gonna get all the supplies and everything, provide them, and then the trains will start getting built. Now I could also do the same thing over on this side if I wanted to, I could build uh, a train right over here. Let's build two trains on this side. But unfortunately, I don't have the resources over here to build the trains. Um, so actually what I think I'll do instead is it actually doesn't seem to be a way to stop them from building trains once you start. That's a peculiar thing. Keep that in mind, I suppose. I should have built them over here is, is where they should be. So I'm going to build two trains over here too. You can have more trains on the track the longer the track is. So you're not restricted to like only two trains and you have to wait forever. Um, trains can be numerous and you can have more on there basically. Um, trains are also capable of transporting Sector people scan. and resources at the same time. Um, it'll just simply add an extra car um, when they do that. So there'll be a separate car for cargo and a separate car for a colonist uh, just people. Snapped. Got people going crazy over here. It's because I'm not paying attention to them. Multi spiral architecture. Hey, that's nice. Oval Dome. Oh, you guys remember Team Oval Dome? Research complete. I do. Uh, now, I built this extra train track over here for a reason. There's, it's not just this extra thing, okay? Because I wanted to show you another thing you can do with train tracks. You see these metal, this metal over here? I would really like to get access to this metal. But unfortunately, that means I need people. And usually that means I need a dome. But because of trains and how they work, we don't really need this anymore. Because if I build a large station, notice how it's got a hexagon of influence, if you will. And that is the same as a dome. So if I do a small station 
same thing. So what I could do here is I can make a station go like this. And then inside, you'll notice that metals extraction, it says too far away from working drone commander, but it also says there's no, uh, it also says that the building requires colonists and is too far from your domes. But if I place it closer, now all of a sudden it's not too far away and it will let me place this. So I can, if I choose, put a metal extractor there and a metal extractor here. And by building a train out this way, colonists from these domes can get on the train, come out here and work. That's pretty sick, huh? Let's go ahead and let them build this and um, we'll see how that works. I'm just gonna have to bring some resources over here though. So let me go ahead and get my transport truck to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the station built. And we also have got some Sterlings here just to keep it powered. You could do whatever you wanted. It's it, yeah, obviously any power source would work uh, in this example, but we've got two metals extractors here and they're both within range of the station. So let's go ahead really quick into our infrastructure, go to track. And I'm just gonna have this track go all the way over. We're gonna meet up kind of right next to this one. Um, we don't wanna get too close to it. I think you have to have some room just cause the, you know, the, the train's on the side of the, of the tracks, right? So they have to have room to, to kind of pass by each other. But I'm thinking if I go this way, I'm like, is it, is it here? Yeah, right here. So we'll go ahead and build a second track over on this, from this station. And then you can see they all just rush in to provide the concrete to it super quick. And uh, then they end up building the track. So once this track is built, we now have a, a, an access point over here. And this is way cheaper than building a dome. Right, especially if you can hook it up to power pretty easily. Um, but I'm just building Sterlings, of course. But if you can do that, that would be even better. Um, so now, once this track is built, we can have people come out and work in these places by providing them with a monorail system to travel there. So once that's done, um, we'll go ahead and start building. Uh, Actually, I can start building trains right now. So let's just build two. Um, on this track, we already got two trains built. And so what you have to do is you have to assign the trains to a track. So send out train, and we're gonna send it on this track. And that's gonna get a train loaded right here. And then we can govern what to transport, how often, etc. But you can see there's the train and it's bringing fuel over to the other station now. So uh, they need fuel over here to refuel this rocket. So the train station is just gonna be br bringing this over there all by itself, which is nice. Uh, looks like we're out of materials to uh, fix our solar panels. We're low on metals as well. So what I might do is let's say in this train track, we want to have metals brought here. And I think I would like to maybe have it, don't have it sent by trains. So we'll send it don't send, or maybe we send, uh, you know, we can just keep it balanced. It's fine because they'll eventually bring all these resources and balance it out. So. Um, I'm going to take and actually get that other train on the track now too. Same thing. Built that second train and that's going to start sending resources as well. So we'll keep these resources balanced between the two different train stations. Now over here, we need to build another train. So uh, actually it looks like we're already building one. Yep. I'm already building two. Cool. There we go. Um, we might also want to get some concrete, which we can totally do now pretty easily. So, cause we can just have this, these guys. Uh, you know, transport it into the train station and then get that train to send the concrete over to this station, which can then be moved by drones onto the other train. So like cargo can transfer between trains, um, but not people, like they won't do that. So if I wanted to extract concrete from over here, we could go like this and maybe like this on this side. Um, we would also want to get, I think some power cables to connect between the two of them and then probably a power source, or in this case, I guess we'll just run the power cables from uh let's just bring it from over here say over like this and then underneath the train station to here now notice how the trains can go over top of cables that's easy you can also go underneath the pipes i want to show that too if you didn't see that already the they can go underneath the pipes as well so they're lower and remember the trains aren't on top they're on the sides uh, so that will work out just fine too. So that doesn't really get in your way of your infrastructure at least, and unless of course you're trying to go through like one of these little uh, posts and stuff, I guess. Um, but now that those trains can balance that load, which is kind of nice. We do have one train here, so let's go ahead and send it out. We're gonna connect it to this track 
and you can see the uh, trains zipping off it goes. And so now we have a way for passengers to get to this dome if they want to move here uh, from any dome they want. Uh, and the only thing we don't have is, is a connection from this dome over here to the, directly to this dome. That's the only thing we don't have yet. But, um, you know, these things can zip around and they'll be uh, moving resources around. So when this train is all done, I'm going to connect it here. And I'm going to go ahead and just slow time down just a little bit here. And I want to go ahead and see if we can't transport passengers. So currently 0 out of 24. And uh, at least 5 of each resource. I think maybe we should stockpile even more. So we'll say 40 if possible on this. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on shuttle access. And that's going to allow the uh, the shuttles to come in and access the goods that are in there too. If you had shuttles, this would allow shuttles to engage with your trains as well and bring resources or take resources away or whatever you wanted it to, to be like. Um, you can also notice we can transport waste rock, water, and oxygen on the trains as well. So if I'm producing a ton of water over here and these guys don't have much, uh, I can transfer that over via train as well. Um, by default, that stuff is off, but you can transport it if you'd like to, which begs the question, is it possible to actually hook up? Like how, how does the water get transported, right? You know, because normally water is not something that is transported by a drone. Right? It's, it's generated in the ground, sent through a pipe, uh, or it's generated with a... Uh, uh, a vaporator and sent through a pipe, right? So we don't ever see drones handling oxygen and water. And so I'm actually curious how that would work. And so if I click this and I say water can be here, how does that work? So far is zero out of zero. But if I turn it on, do they somehow move water onto the train? Oxygen is 150 out of 150. So that can, that can move already too. That's curious. I haven't actually looked at that yet, so I don't know. Okay, so we have eight vacant work slots here. I want to get a whole bunch more people in here. So let's go passenger rocket, bring all these guys. I don't really want the tourists, though. I guess we'll turn off the filters for the flaws and um, just sort of let let cowards in. Uh, we'll let the gamblers in. We'll let, uh, we'll let loners in. That's fine. People who are lazy, you can come in. Maybe whiners can come in, too. Uh, you know, if you're going to whine about it, I guess we'll let you in. And we'll just send a whole bunch of people over, like geologists and all sorts of stuff, so that they can work at this other place. So I'm going to launch this, and I'm going to land it right here, so we can fill these domes up. All right, we got that last train built here, so we'll just go ahead and add it to the track. And now we should see, with the, the people that are here, I'm going to actually drop this down too. That'll probably give us even more people to, to work in our... We don't have a whole lot of people in this dome, so I kind of need to have more passengers in order to have more workers. There we go, 100 colonists. Okay, so we should now see these trains are making regular trips back and forth, and we should see workers are taking the train all the way over here so that they can now work in these two places here. And I've made this a high priority so that they'll come over here and work so I can show you. And so now we have the ability to get metal to bring it into, uh, you know, a depot here. People can take the train to work. The drones can then take all the metals and stuff, bring it into the Sector train station, scan. and Funding also get it shipped all the way over and dropped off so that it can be transported around your colony. And so now you can get remote resources around the map that would that take colonists, but you don't have to have, you know, a, a full dome and an ecosystem and life support and all that stuff near these resources. You just need to have a train station that can manage that. Personally, I think, if, especially if you have a center hub, it's a, probably a good idea to have maybe two of these large ones side by side um, so that you can have your people go off and work at all sorts of different places around the map here um, because that's going to allow you to have... It, it really does change the game in terms of like how you want to play it um, because you don't need to have as many domes all spread out and everything. You can have a relatively concentrated colony and just like get trains out in places, right? Now, if you want to delete a station, Research one complete. of the downsides, right? Um, you have to really think about this stuff because trains can be expensive if you change your mind or you need to change up your strategies, right? If you want to delete a station, you are unable to do so until the train track itself is also destroyed. So you cannot salvage the station. There's no option to do so until the track is gone. You'll get 100 
In this case, I'll get 100 concrete you're funded for doing so. So you do get some of your resources back that you spent. Um, but you can't delete your stations unless you delete the entire track because tracks must be uh, connected to stations. They cannot be open-ended. Another thing to think about is that trains are a little bit more dangerous for passengers than shuttles because trains are on the ground and with these tracks, they are susceptible to disasters. So meteors, for example, can hit your trains and kill your passengers. Um, they can also uh, hit your track and disrupt it. Your drones will need to get to that point and fix the track if that happens. And the shuttle full of passengers will stop and wait for that to happen in order to continue. And when it does that, your, your, your people are kind of on a timer. Right? So they can die of like asphyxi asphyxiation and stuff just sitting there waiting for the train track to be fixed too. So if you're gonna have long train tracks like this, you might wanna also have drone hubs kind of scattered throughout just to make sure that you can handle this um, and that you can, um, you know, that you can uh, handle uh, any problems that might come up because that's uh, probably a pretty important thing as well. Put some extra waste rock fields there too. So I'm gonna build uh, a drone hub here that can manage this entire area. And then again, I think having drone hubs that can reach the entirety of your track like this is. In this case, the track is covered by drone hubs, but it's not here. So there's a possibility that someone could die right here. But for the most part, this track is covered by drone hubs everywhere except this part right here. So it'd probably be a good idea for me to place a drone hub over here, um, especially if I've got Inventor or something. Uh, I think it's Inventor where the drone hubs are free and don't cost any maintenance or anything. That's also a research, so you can get that too eventually. I'm not sure where, but it's in there somewhere. Um, but you can see, like, the train tracks are they're open immediately, and then, you know, shuttles are way down here sometimes. So uh, this could be a good way to start out the game. It's relatively inexpensive for the concrete cost and everything. All right, so now I'm going to try to connect the last two domes that aren't connected together yet. So I've got another station here on this side, and then over here... I've gone ahead and I've gotten rid of the metal extractor because I want to connect to it from this side here. So what we're going to do is basically get a track that goes all the way around like this and just sort of connects up the whole world in that way. And then if we ever start, you know, getting the place to where it's nice and green everywhere, then my colonists can actually get a mood boost by going through the train. Um, they'll get um, they'll get perks for doing so. So let's go ahead and hit the track here. We're going to go all the way over. now. You have to watch because this stuff has to be cleared. So you have to have this stuff in range of a, of a, of a uh, drones and stuff so that they can take care of this. So uh, we don't want to go too much into this kind of stuff. We want to kind of avoid this right here if possible. Um, just because it'll slow down construction, they'll have to come out here and do that. So we're going to maybe get this to come all the way over. Maybe like uh, it says uneven terrain. I'm trying to avoid that. Maybe we come in closer like this. And then we go this way, and then we're gonna just avoid. Yeah, try to avoid those rocks. There we go. And we'll come all the way over, like say here. Looks pretty good so far. We can come all the way over like this. We're getting close to the other end here. Um, we'll go straight across like that. And then maybe duck this way. But we don't wanna go on uneven terrain, so maybe we just keep this. Yeah, I mean, the tracks don't get dusted, so as long as we can still get a concrete extractor there, it's fine. There we go. Um, we want to avoid that, so let's not do that. Uh, right about here. Yep. And then we'll come all the way over uh, past this uh, this geyser that's right here. We don't want to interfere with that. The uneven terrain. Scary music is back. Uh, and then we're, we're left here. Now, if this concrete wasn't extractor wasn't here, it'd be probably pretty easy. But may, maybe we can uh, cut through this direction. That'd be easier. Yeah, so we'll go like this. And then um, is it here? It is here. But we are left with objects underneath. Ah, okay. So right here. So see how the, the post has to go there? So what we could do is stop here. And then, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe um, that is an unfortunate thing that happens there. Maybe if we back up a little bit, maybe come to here and then over. Oh, it's got to go one more right here. Now does it work? It keeps wanting to put a post there. I would really like it to not do that anymore. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, done. 
So this will be an enormous track. It takes 425 concrete to make this track. It goes all the way around here, right? But remember, you only need drones to be able to access one side of it and to clear it away. So if there are anything that needs to be cleared while we do this, then I'll need to come out and do that. And so far, I think I avoided all the rocks. I feel like I did. Um, I may have, while I was rep repositioning things, I may not have, but yeah, construction sites being cleared. So there's going to be somewhere in here where I got to clear it. And that's, well, it's mostly fine. I have a commander for that. So I just have to figure out where it is. It, it might actually be here. It, it's possible that this is, yeah, it's just out of range. Okay. So we'll just do this. We'll make another drone hub and we'll put it like right here. And then these guys will gather the resources, build the drone hub. This gets cleared and then everything just goes whoosh, right? Uh, let's go ahead and lift you off. Bye. And then we just need power to this now. So we can go power direct from the station if we wanted to. I'll just, I'll go to the cable. It's fine. And then as soon as this gets power, these guys will go to work clearing these rocks and then the train track will just start building. So it's all cleared and then all these guys are just going to start rushing in to provide concrete to this. There it goes. 24. It's actually happening on the other side too, looks like. So if I come all the way over here, it's happening over here as well. Yep. They're bringing all the concrete over here. Very good. And so now we'll have train tracks on both sides. And so what I can do now is have the trains start Sector their scan. production. I could start building them earlier. All right. So now we've got three trains under construction now, uh, which is fine. This is a really long track, so I'd want a lot of trains moving, right? Always good to do that. Provide a couple of other dumping sites right here for the, the concrete. But this is another good way to, to get concrete from faraway places because otherwise you'd need shuttles, right? You can't just have this being here and then not provide. Looks like this doesn't even have the, the machine parts in it available in the area. I could probably just go like that and just be like, hey, can you have five machine parts here at all times? And then somebody will bring it over there and do it. I would think, unless there's... Yeah, there's another one right here. Yeah, so it, it'll do it eventually. Um, let's give it some Research extra complete. drones. And then we'll have concrete being uh, gathered in from here too, which is kind of nice. Put a couple of extra rock. Okay, I just got Arcology and I, I wanted to research that to show you. Um, I also wanted to show you other researches pertaining to um, the uh, the trains, right? So safe transports, um, that's over here in the middle. So all of these are kind of in the middle, early middle section so far. And um, you can see their research costs here. Uh, now I've got a couple of benefits. I've got a couple of buffs from like story things and breakthroughs and stuff that permit me to have uh, re uh, discounts on engineering and robotics and stuff. But safe transport, easier to repair. Trains are safer for passengers. Cool. Uh, there's also luxurious trains. Colonists will no longer take comfort penalties while traveling because there's a comfort penalty associated with traveling. Um, then faster trains. They travel faster, which is good. They can get to work sooner. They can start their days sooner. Everything's pretty nice that way. Um, and then green view. That's the thing I was talking about earlier, where if we can get everything to be green, uh, they'll actually get a comfort buff uh, for traveling on a train through green areas. It's a nice view on their way to work, right? Now, there's also, in case you were wondering, yes, you can build trains underground, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, it's still not like a subway, so it's the underground is a completely different map than above ground. So you can't interchange them like that. Um, and you do require a research, this one right here, in order to be able to do that. But you can build trains underground. You simply need research to do that. So above ground trains, no research. Below ground trains, like most stuff, uh, research. And I bet you it'll take exotic stuff to, to build it too, probably. I think I have a deficiency in, in uh, energy, but if I was playing this more ongoing, if I was, uh, you know, Meteor doing a full playthrough for this, then I would probably care about my electrical deficiency at night. But as long as my deficiency at night is less than my surplus during the day, you know, then I'm good to go. Now, you might be wondering, uh, we, we did look at it briefly, but the uh, water and oxygen, right? And how do you get trains to transport water and oxygen? 
Well, you can select the train. And um, there's this button right here. Toggle between transporting crates of fluids. Or crates or fluids. Starting in the next trip. And so you can basically switch trains to have the different modes. So they need their different cars uh, in order to be able to do that. So at the moment, they're not really transporting anything. Um, but like if I was... If I was going to keep playing, then sure. We already have resources kind of spread out throughout this whole place. So there's not really a reason to send resources since they're not really requested for anything right now. Um, but yeah, trains are existing. They're here. And um, hopefully you guys uh, like what you see because this is available on Steam right now. Link in the description. A special thank you once again to Paradox for sponsoring this video and uh, allowing me to share this with you guys. Creating some awesome stuff and continuing continuously developing and continuously supporting old games <laughs> that just keep getting little tweaks and little changes granted these are mods you could have downloaded them before but now having them officially integrated and uh tweaked and enhanced that way uh it's always nice to see that and then developers of the mods get their support as well right they get supported for these types of things too which is always good so I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like the video, subscribe. And if you're new here, consider checking out the Discord. It's down in the description too. See ya. Bye-bye.